versatile company is a certified Microsoft Project Training Partner. This tutorial is designed to give you a quick, focused tip on a key feature of Microsoft Project 2010. A major difference in the user interface for Project 2010 is the ribbon as the primary navigational method. The ribbon was implemented in Microsoft Office 2007. It attempts to make the many features of Project easier to find by grouping them intuitively under six tabs. File, Task, Resource, Project, View, and Format. Project has many features and many ways to input and view information. We'll take a quick look at the navigation strategies and the information available depending on the view you choose. First, the File tab. Features found under the File tab are related to creating, saving, and finding files. This is where we find information about the project. we find the Recent List, which is a list of the most recently opened projects in Microsoft Project, so we don't have to hunt for them on our hard drive. And this is the location for Options. Options contains many of the settings that affect the way a project performs cost and schedule calculations. One of the most powerful aspects of Options is that it even contains dialogues to customize the ribbon to meet your needs. Here we can move a command on the left side that's not shown in the ribbon to one of the tabs in the ribbon. Powerful and simple dialogue. The task tab contains features that are related to manipulating task information. This tab contains access to projects views, and assists in the insertion of tasks, the outlining of tasks, and in the scheduling of tasks. Features related to manipulating resource information are found under the Resource tab. This tab gives us one-click access to the Team Planner, which is a new and powerful view in Project. Assigning tasks to people, the Resource Manager's point of view. Additional selections provide easy-to-use dialogues that assist in assigning and in leveling resources. The Project tab contains features that affect the entire project, such as changing the calendar, here found in Change Working Time. The selections on this tab enable you to create master or super projects, create custom WBS numbers, to baseline the project, and to report on the project. The View tab provides the ability to switch among resource and task related views. It also allows for the modification and contents of a view. Now while views can be accessed and modified from other tabs, the View tab provides the most options. The View tab provides you with the ability to also analyze with a split view and to filter and group data at any level in the project.
the Format tab is view sensitive, which means that the features accessible on the Format tab will change depending on the view being applied. Here we see Gantt chart tools for the formatting the Gantt chart. But if I change to the resource sheet, Now the format is for resource sheet tools. Notice that under every tab, the features that are available will change depending upon the view. Examining our view options is the quickest way to see the breadth of information available in Project 2010. Even though the new interface is different than all previous versions of Project, you can see that the ribbon options make MS Project 2010 more accessible and easier to use than any of its predecessors. There's more to know about Microsoft Project 2010. Be sure to check out our other project tutorials on YouTube. For great training in project or project management, contact us at www.versatilecompany.com.